Hi, I'm Cody Alexander with Magic Quarters, bringing you the latest episode of Magic Quarters Quick Hits. Today we're going to be talking about cover downs, overhangs, and what is a box player. So the first thing we're going to talk about is cover downs. And we're going to go over 2x2 two two standard spread set. Your cover downs are going to be the closest person to the slot player. And it's the cover down is defined as the distance they are to the slot player. So a full cover down, like I've illustrated in here, which you see in a lot of 4-2-5 defense, a full cover down, the Sam linebacker is going to be on the inside shade, or what I like to call the inside eye of the slot receiver. If you're running more of a 4-3 scheme and you're using the Sam as a force, he most generally will be in an apex position. And that, and that allows him to be that force on the box. To the boundary side, your, your cover down is going to be on the wheel. Now the problem with the wheel is he's a conflict player. He has to fold into the B-gap. So his cover down will be less than if he was the Sam. If I were to set the strength over here in an under front, right now it's in an over front, the wheel would then be able to have a full cover down. So all the cover down is talking to you about, or when you use that term, is you are talking about the relationship between the overhang, which in 2x2 two two is the same in will, and which we'll talk about in just a second, to the slot. And in this case, we have a full cover down. Sam is out of the box. He can then get a full cover down. Now let's talk about overhangs. I already said uh, Sam and Will are your overhangs. All those players are, are those players are your O-gap players. Who are the ones defending the zero gap or outside of the box fit? So right here, your Sam linebacker is going to be your overhang and your wheel linebacker is going to be your overhang. The importance of understanding these is, is your overhang in the box fit? For instance, your wheel linebacker. If your wheel linebacker, who is, in a, who is your overhang, is now in a, in a box fit, he is now the conflicted player. This is the player that most offenses are going to target in an RPO. Uh, setting your front to the field, which I've discussed in, in earlier videos and in, in some of my articles, protects you to the field and puts your conflict player into the boundary, basically forcing the offense to either go formation into the boundary or do a flop read where they're, where they're reading opposite the back. So there you have it, cover downs, now overhangs. Now let's talk about box players. Now, most offensive coordinators define a box player that is somebody that is within the box. So for instance, in this, this is our box players. Now, most good offensive coordinators will throw the wheel linebacker into the box as well, knowing that he's going to fold into the box. So right now, you've got a six-man box. But rudimentary rules, when they are building a box, this is going to be considered a 4-1 box. Now, defensive coordinators know that not only is the wheel linebacker in the box fit, but I've also got a Sam linebacker who's going to be a force player back in, and I have a safety that is going to fill and is going to relate off my Sam linebacker. So I also have a backside safety, so I really have nine in the box, but in terms of what the offensive coordinator is going to see, this is going to be a 4-1 box. Plays that you're going to see in 2x2, two two, especially with the 4-1 with the box, is going to be zones. You're going to see man blocking zones where they're going to be targeting downhill right at the Mike linebacker, making him choose a side, and then the, then the center is going to cut him off. And you're also going to see gap schemes or fold schemes where they're going to fold and wrap and almost make basically it's, it's the spread ISO. So this is your cover downs and then your overhangs and what you're going to get from a box and understanding box fits uh, for 2x2. Two two. Let's transition over here to 3x1 and go through the same thing. Your cover downs are, there's really three cover downs now over here. You've got your Sam linebacker who has to cover down here. You've got your Mike linebacker who has to now cover down here. Now, the third cover down, there isn't a receiver over here. So we don't have to worry about that third cover down. We'll talk more, more about the down safety as we get to overhangs and box players. But in terms of cover downs, your Sam linebacker is no longer in the box fit. There's no need for him to relate back to the box. He is taken out of the box by the offense putting the number three receiver right there. He can now gain a full cover down or work to the inside eye of the receiver. Now, your conflict player is your Mike. The conflict player, because he has to fold into the B-gap, 
and he also has to cover down to the number three receiver. He's going to be in a hip alignment, much like we saw the wheel linebacker be in hip alignment in 2x2, two two, and he is now relating to the number three receiver. These are your overhang players. So I've got an overhang in the Sam, I've got an overhang in the Mike. Now, who is the overhang to the boundary? That is where you get your down safety. Your down safety is in charge of the zero gap. This is why you don't, when you use coverages that kick to the front side, you've exposed yourself and have actually eliminated your plus one to the boundary. Now, understanding overhangs it, it, to the boundary is kind of difficult because unless you're spinning, it's kind of hard to see him as the overhang. But if you structure your defense and you understand that he actually is the overhang, then your run fits will be a, a lot cleaner. Because otherwise, you're working with a 4-1 box, which we, we uh, talked about uh, in 2x2, two two, and you truly are a 4-1 box if you take him out of the fit to the weak side. So you are at a disadvantage right there. So we've talked about cover downs, overhangs, now let's talk about the box. Offensive coordinators, again, are going to define the box as this. When they see 3x1, they see a 4-1 box. What they forget is that the down safety is now your will linebacker, the will is now the mic, and the, and the, and the mic is actually the same. So you have now changed their rules. Understanding the structure of your defense and how it changes to formations is key to understanding run fits and pass distribution. Now I have a 4-3 alignment against 3 down. I still have a conflict player in the mic, but if I look at my defense like this and I work my fits off of what I'm seeing here, I'll be ahead of the game against offensive coordinators because they're seeing a 4-1 box. Most likely in 3 by one they're going to, if you go too high like I've shown here, they're going to try and attack the weak side. If you leave him here and you don't kick him, so if you don't run solo coverage and you choose to run stress or special to the three receiver side and you leave him here, you have now created a plus one opportunity to the back side. This is where you can gain leverage on an offense by understanding structure, understanding cover downs and overhangs, and, and basically filling the box with players that the offense isn't going to see. So if you run sky or a quarters coverage to the back side, you can allow him to kind of slow play the pass, fitting into the run on the O gap and really being that plus one. Any kind of gap play in here, you can also use him to fit up on the puller. Again, offensive linemen aren't going to be looking for a safety coming from depth when they're pulling around on, on a gap play or a power play, they're going to be looking for the next, uh, the next level, which would be the linebacker. By using your safety and your gap fits, especially for three by one, you've ensured that you're plus one in the run and you're plus one in the pass. So again, we've talked about cover downs, we've talked about overhangs, and we've talked about box players. Again, you can find me on matchquarters.com. You can also find me on Twitter with at the underscore coach underscore A. Thank you for your time.